guys, welcome back to the channel, Rod's Keto Cafe. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel. Well, today on Ron's Keto Cafe, we're going to be making a flatbread pizza crust. Now, I made this particular pizza crust video many times before, and I'll film it up with all the instructions over the timeline after I'm done talking. And for this particular recipe, you'll need two cups of almond flour, one teaspoon of bacon powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two eggs, one tablespoon of oil. You, at that point, when you get everything all in a bowl and start mixing it, you'll have your oven preheated to 400. On a sheeting pan and then on, on a piece of parchment paper, you're gonna form, dump your dough into that and you're gonna make a nice pizza crust. And uh, we'll make it with a little bit of a lip to hold the sauce. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Bake that off for around 10 minutes, 15 minutes to about golden brown. And remember, all oven times uh, vary. And then we'll add our favorite uh, pizza sauce and some mozzarella cheese. And then I think we're going to put some olives on it today. Not sure about that, but, you know, we'll figure it out when we get to that part of it. And then we'll come back and talk about it. So I got this recipe from Max's Boot Camp, and I'll have their link below to show more, the exact link for this particular video. And yeah, so it's really good. I, I really enjoy this pizza. You might find the dough would be a little bit dry, but uh, yeah, this is how I, uh, you know, have come to that conclusion making this uh, particular pizza, but I really love it. And uh, yeah, so then uh, it's pretty much simple after that. Oh yeah, it's, they used uh, coconut oil. I don't have any coconut oil, but I'm gonna use olive oil today for my uh, choice of my oil. And that's pretty much it. And, uh, you know, like again, as soon as you start seeing a golden brown crust that form around you outside of your pizza, you, oh yeah, we're gonna use Rayo's pizza sauce today. Uh, we happen to have a small jar. I'll probably use about a cup of that, or maybe about a half a cup. And uh, the amount of sauce you put on it depends on how saucy you want it. So, and then we'll come back and talk about it. And, uh, or, and I'll probably just cut the slice up and show you what the final product at the end. But I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Uh, be watching for some more videos don't forget to check out my uh, youtube channel for the uh series i got going on right now with the shackles every day at noon time except for the, the 11th i just happened to forget to put one up on the 11th but you know for, we're going to get the, those going and continue making those and uh continue to inspire as many of you as to get out there and get healthy and uh, that's what it's all about eating healthy and uh getting healthy so without further ado let's go right into the video and again don't forget to like share and subscribe and have an amazing day Okay, so let's get started. So you need two cups of almond flour or 200 grams, two eggs, one teaspoon of bacon powder, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of olive oil or any of your favorite oil, a pinch of salt, a half a cup of your favorite sauce. Today we're using Reyes pizza sauce and one cup of cheese. And uh, we, today we're using a mixed cheese of four cheeses and mozzarella cheese will work or any kind of cheese of your choice. And then once you get everything all mixed into the uh, mixing bowl, you make a pizza crust, pop it into the oven at 400 degrees, and then we'll um, pop it in there for around 10, maybe 15 minutes. I took this out at the 12 minute mark, and then I added my pizza sauce and my cheese, popped it into the oven. And instead of having pepperoni on the top, or olives and that sort of thing, I had some frozen peppers and onions that I wanted to use up that were kind of like a little bit freezer bird, but they were still okay. So I ended up using maybe about a half a cup of each, not even just a small handful. And uh, when it popped out of the oven, it was really, really good. And uh, you know, it, the crust was nice and golden brown on the bottom. And, I, and I'm gonna show you that at the end of the video. And that was the uh, bacon powder that I used. So what I did was the bacon powder and all the, uh, the ingredients is, I had a, uh, like a half a teaspoon and I just uh, you doubled it up on the size there because I didn't want it to dirty another teaspoon because I got kind of lazy today. And then uh, when I formed my uh, pizza crust, I had a, uh, I bought some of these, uh, oh yeah, and that's the cheese that I used because I had some cheese left over in the refrigerator and wanted to use it up. And the, of course the Reyes pizza sauce. And then I ended up uh, having the uh, parchment paper. I, I, Got some uh, pre-cut parchment paper on Amazon. I got like about 200 sheets for under $10. And, you know, Amazon is great. I can get all my product there. And if I'm not happy with something, I can return it in Kohl's or, or wherever. But the problem with that is uh, just make sure that, you you know, if you're buying something, make sure it's a returnable product. Because there's been a couple of times where I bought stuff and I, I ended up eating on the product and they wasn't happy with it. 
But uh, yeah, it just came out really, really good. And again, I got this recipe from Max's boot camp. And you can see me over here just taking it off the uh, spoon, the uh, actually spatula. Then I dumped it onto the, posh, the pre cut parchment paper. And then at this point, I had the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And, uh, you know, we'll come back and talk about it. So let's just continue on with the music. So you can see how nice and golden brown our pizza crust is. It just came out of the oven. It took about 13 minutes for this particular pizza size and it did rise a little bit and then I'm taking a, a few spoonfuls of uh, the Reyes pizza sauce, of course. And then I added the cheese and the peppers and onions and I popped that baby in until it was all gooey, ooey and melty. And then I came back and then I ended up slicing it up into four slices and I ended up uh, really enjoying it now you could have taken this whole entire pizza crust and made two of little small little pizza crusts so if you're, you know if you're a couple living in an apartment or something like that and you just want your own individual pizzas and you know it's your choice then maybe one time we'll come back we'll make a nice alfredo pizza sauce for this and uh, it'll be real good but anyway this pizza is uh great for low, low carb uh, keto and uh, i made this uh numerous times before i just had it made in a while and uh Glad to get some more keto supplies again because I'm back on track with losing the weight. And that was just, you know, eyeballing the uh, cheese. Um, the amount of cheese and everything you put on it is up to you and your choice, you know. You, you can be very selective on this. But anyways, uh, let's continue on. Okay, so our pizza just came out of the oven. I'm using a pizza wheel cutter to cut my pizza. You see how easy it cuts. And I'm cutting mine in fourths today. And uh, it, did, it did really, really good. Right at this particular pizza crust, you can see how nice it separates really well. And uh, and I just popped it off at that because I didn't want it to break. And uh, you know, there's the uh, back side of it. And uh, now I'm taking a bite of it. And there you have our final product. Enjoy your day. Bye.